everybody. Let's say hello to the creator of the beautiful new album, We Are, Go Get It, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John Baptiste. How are you? Yes, don't worry. Be happy, baby. That's right. I got to ask you about uh, something very important. How's oh, your bracket? What's that? How's your bracket? My, oh, my bracket for the, for the March madness that's going around. <laughs> I, I have to imagine, as a national basketball champion yourself, the, you, hey. you, you, follow, you follow the, the game of hoop and stick. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, you know what? I haven't been following as much this year, but I follow college basketball, and I think that there's no sticks involved from my recollection. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get a chance to hit it with a stick if somebody tries to stop you? I, I think that's another game, Stephen. <laughs> well, we should add some sticks, man. That would all mix it up nicely. Like, so, so two of the guys, the two of the guys. Okay. Well, I'm thinking of Quidditch. I'm thinking of Quidditch. Those are the beaters. That's the okay, beaters yeah. in Quidditch. The beaters hit the bludger. Right, exactly. Right. Thanks very much. That's a whole other thing. How's, yeah, your, how's, yeah. your, how's your Quidditch bracket? Oh, wow. Steve, yeah. now that's yeah. one that I don't have together yet. I'm, pu <laughs> I'm pulling for Bulgaria. I'm telling you that Victor Crumb's got it. He's amazing. Yeah, he used, oh the, he used the Vronsky maneuver to pull up at the last minute. No way, no way Ireland's going to beat him at the World Cup. W whoa, wow. <laughs> I yeah, trust you. I follow imaginary sports, John. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. that's great. Yeah. I'm with it. John, do you, have, do you have any springtime music? This is the first show that we've done when it's officially spring. Spring in the house. Yep. <laughs> I'd love to have him on. That would be great. You you would have a great conversation with him, actually. I can't wait. It's already done. It's done. I would love to do it. John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. My guest tonight is a comedy icon and one of the funniest people I have ever worked for. Please welcome to A Late Show, Mr. Dana Even. Carvey. Hello, oh, Dana there. Carvey. Uh we're getting a little seismic here, <laughs> and let's just ride it through. Yeah, surf the madness. Hey, oh. There you go. Hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. Bring the energy down. Good. That's Bring good. Bring the energy all down. Right, all right. Hey, We've had enough fun. We've had enough fun. Let's There's get into it. There's a pandemic out there, damn it. No laughter. Uh, it spreads the aerosols. <laughs> Dana, it's lovely to see you. I've got questions. You know I've got questions because I'm a professional. But I just want to kind of like drink you in for a right. second here. It's just lovely just, to see you. How is your how how is your lovely wife? How are your boys? Everything good? Everything's good. I mean, um, you know, I had pandemic brain a little bit early on. I don't Did know you about get it? You, but... Did you get the pandemic? No, I just got pandemic brain, which you have a lot of inconsequential conversations with your wife when it's your life slows down. Like, you know, I went to the Gelson's today and um you know, I went straight in. Yesterday, there was like six people in line. Today, I went right in. She goes, oh, yeah. Well, what do you think it'll be like tomorrow? I go, I don't know. And this went on for weeks. And finally, I thought, I got to. My brain was. I said, you want to watch Love It or List It? Because we don't know if they're going to keep the house. And they might sell it. She goes, yeah, I'm in. I'm all in. And then we got down to rain. You know what? I, I think it rained. When was the first rain this year? Was it October? Or, yeah. So that was where I was for about a month and a half. I love that. And though. then I finally said, I think that, I have not that sounds like paradise to me. I just love those kind of conversations. Really? Because my mind can wander. I can. Uh, I can. You need focus. <laughs> yeah. No, but I yes. like. I like to kind of a, 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 a conversation. I can kind of drift. I can drift away, and Evie will tell you. Evie's here. Well, Evie, what, what, the, you like those conversations that he just had with I, Paul? I those do. Those sound lovely. I what do. Are you, not everything, she, not all of marriage can be <laughs> making love on a mountaintop in a thunderstorm, Dana. Most of it is, though. Oh, newsflash. <laughs> Look, it gets sexier as you get older. Let's just leave that topic aside. 100%. <laughs> you got to up the ante. Put it that way. Now, everybody... <laughs> next, every, <laughs> I've never, I've never had it up the ante. <laughs> oh, the, well, I wasn't going for the pun. I was just saying, God. well, that you left time you, now. You left it open for me. Um, You're like Burgess Meredith when he his glasses got broken in the Twilight Zone. There's time. Finally, There's time now. I finally have time for all my puns. 
Uh, now, oh, perfect. Everybody, everybody enjoys their Dana Carvey from from knowing you from TV and from the films. But you've you've Thank you've, you, you've breached a new medium now. It is it yes. is the new podcast. I'm putting it on the camera over here. It's uh -huh. fantastic with Dana Carvey. Yes. What made you decide to get into the podcast game, Dana? <laughs> I always told my manager, I said, when there's two million of them, count me in. I'm not going to just join a fad. No, it was, uh, I got, I got to have some structure. I really was getting, my brain was slowing down. So I thought, if Stephen Colbert can do five hours of television a week, I can talk into a mic for 45 minutes. So you were the impetus. But my son, um, he was the one who said, let's do one word. You know, he's in his 20s. Let's just do one word. Don't do like a fancy thing like Dana wants this or let's just do one word. And <laughs> I say fantastic a lot. I don't know if you remember that sure. about me. And I use it in a passive aggressive ironic way rather than being negative. So if I'm driving down the street and I see a, a yuppie with a cell phone wandering in the intersection at Santa Monica and La Cienega causing traffic and mayhem, instead of saying, what the f I say, fantastic. <laughs> I think I it's very there's more. It's very, it, there's more. very healthy. It's very healthy. Yeah, yeah. there's more COVID variants. And fantastic. <laughs> so it's just that's the irony. That's how you can use it. It's fantastic. I, I have a, I have a similar thing. I have a similar. Thing. It's a little bit different. But my similar thing is that my my executive here, Tom Purcell, and I have this thing where somebody says, "Oh, this thing is going to happen," and I don't like it. And I go, "Do I have any control over that?" And they say, "No." <laughs> and I go, "I love it." That's it. That I love it. That's it. What is you got to have a positive. I always say sweet cheeks. My wife, you know, when I'm driving around, someone's like not moving their car. Let's go sweet cheeks. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Because I don't want to be negative and angry all the time. I'm happy Dana. <laughs> Do you believe me? <laughs> it's just one big party. Who's your co-host? Who's this Chris Rios person? I've never heard of this person. I don't know whether to trust them. She, she's not a professional person. I don't have a lot of professional people on my podcast. She was the woman who cuts my hair. Hasn't done it, you know, lately. Don't blame her. But she's a beauty expert, and she, I noticed she had a really good laugh. And uh, so it's kind of like Johnny Carson. Ed McMahon was surprised when Johnny said, I'd like you to be my shine kick. And he's like, really, me? But... Johnny knew that was a laugh, and laugh is oxygen to people like us. Sure. And so she's the soundtrack of the podcast, and it keeps it light and fun, which was a conscious choice on my part because I thought the tr country needed a rest. We have to take a quick break, uh, but when we come back, uh, evidently uh, Dana is able to channel Joe Biden these days. I, I wonder what Mr. Biden has to say.